In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top six benefits of intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is when you cycle between periods of fasting and eating. When used correctly, intermittent fasting can be extremely beneficial for fat loss, specifically around your abdomen, lowering blood sugar, and more. And one of the best things about intermittent fasting is that it is entirely free. So if you want to know more about how intermittent fasting can benefit you, keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm a health coach and I post videos on a high fat, nutrient dense way of eating. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share and make sure to subscribe. And make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook where I share new posts every single day. Intermittent fasting was the top weight loss search term of 2019 and its popularity is only growing. As I said at the start of this video, intermittent fasting is when you cycle between periods of fasting and eating. The most common version of intermittent fasting is 16-8, where you fast for 16 hours a day and eat within an eight hour window. This is in stark contrast to how most people are eating in this day and age. We are eating from early in the morning until late at night, which leads to more problems that go beyond overconsumption. But anyways, let's get into the benefits. So we're gonna start off today talking about some of the benefits that are a little bit more obvious, but then we will get into some that you might not expect, so make sure to stick around until the end. Number one, rapid weight loss. I did say we were gonna start a little bit more obvious, but you might be surprised to learn that the weight loss benefits of intermittent fasting do not come entirely down to eating less food. Yes, of course, if you are eating in a shorter time frame, you might end up eating less through the course of the day. But intermittent fasting also enhances the function of our hormones that help us lose weight. Insulin being the obvious one, but ghrelin as well. Insulin is known as the fat storage hormone due to its role in the body of storing energy as fat. When we eat, insulin increases, and when we fast, insulin decreases. Now, one problem that a lot of people suffer from who are trying to lose weight is insulin resistance. Now, if you're not sure if you are insulin resistant or not, I do have another video on nine signs that you might be insulin resistant that you can check out afterwards. But long story short, if you're insulin resistant, this makes it hard to lose weight because the body is not responding to insulin correctly. And one of the best ways to reverse insulin resistance is fasting. So by addressing the issue of insulin resistance, you can lose weight more easily and often faster. And then we have ghrelin, which is the hunger hormone. Ghrelin signals our bodies we are hungry. Now, one really interesting thing about ghrelin is that it is released in a pulsatile pattern. What I mean by this is that it is released every day at the same times when you would usually be eating. One study done on participants who were extended fasting found, the variation in ghrelin independently of meals in fasting subjects supports previous observations that it is the brain that is primarily involved in the regulation of meal initiation. So when you get into an intermittent fasting routine, you are less hungry outside of your feeding window, which makes this way of eating easier to stick to. Number two, intermittent fasting reduces belly fat. This one kind of goes along with weight loss overall, but intermittent fasting is especially beneficial if you have stubborn belly fat. This type of fat also comes down to being insulin resistant. Abdominal fat, which is also known as visceral fat, is one of the biggest indicators of insulin resistance. This is because when you are insulin resistant, fat gets stored in places that it typically wouldn't, such as around your organs in your abdomen. Visceral fat is particularly concerning because it increases your disease risk for diabetes, heart disease, and more. And as I mentioned earlier, intermittent fasting is one of the best ways to reverse insulin resistance and improve insulin sensitivity. As your insulin sensitivity improves and you start to lose weight, you will lose that stubborn belly fat as well. Number three, intermittent fasting reduces inflammation. Intermittent fasting reduces inflammation in the body, specifically chronic inflammation. When we experience chronic inflammation, our bodies are always under stress. This can weaken our immune system, increase our disease risk, and also cause physical pain, such as in our muscles and joints. 
Intermittent fasting has been shown to reduce inflammation by reducing monocytes in the blood. Monocytes are a type of white blood cell, and when your blood levels are high, it means your body is fighting something. Number four, intermittent fasting increases energy. You might think that not eating for long periods of time would result in you having less energy, but actually the opposite is true, at least when you have become fat adapted. Being fat adapted means your body can burn fat efficiently for energy. Most people nowadays are not very good at using fat as energy because we eat a diet that is high in carbs and sugar. Our bodies have two fuel sources, glucose and fat. When we eat carbs, they are broken down into glucose and used for energy quickly. The problem is this energy is short lived and results in an energy crash and a requirement for more food a few hours later. Fat is a slower burning and more consistent energy source. We can get this fat from dietary sources such as olive oil and animal fat, but it can also come from our stored body fat as well. When there is an absence of carbs in our diet, we start using fat for energy. And of course, when we are fasting, we are not eating any carbs or any food for that matter, so we are burning fat. Being able to use fat efficiently for energy can take a couple of weeks for your body to adapt to. But once you get past that transition, you will experience high amounts of energy while fasting. Fat is also a cleaner burning fuel source for the brain, leading to more mental energy and clarity as well. Number five, intermittent fasting lowers blood sugar. Intermittent fasting can help you to lower your fasting blood sugar and keep your blood sugar more stable during the day. Anyone who is diabetic will understand the importance of this. But even if you are not diabetic, the blood sugar lowering effect can be beneficial as well. Now, I just talked about how when we eat carbohydrates, they are broken down into glucose, and this is blood sugar. Carbohydrates are broken down into glucose and blood sugar rises. At this point, insulin is released, which we talked about earlier, to shuttle the glucose to where it needs to be in the body. For someone who is metabolically healthy, this process works effectively. But when we eat too frequently, we are overworking this process. And this is when we can become insulin resistant and eventually type two diabetic. When you are intermittent fasting, you are giving your system a break and a chance to recover. Now for someone who is already a type two diabetic or a pre-diabetic, intermittent fasting can help you to reverse your condition. Like I said before, when you are not eating for long periods of time, this allows for your blood sugar to lower and remain stable and for your body to improve your insulin sensitivity. In fact, intermittent fasting is so effective for managing blood sugar that if you are on any medication, you will want to work closely with your doctor when you start intermittent fasting because your need for it will reduce rapidly. Number six, intermittent fasting builds discipline. Now, some people might think that intermittent fasting is too restrictive, but I don't see it that way. It can actually be a very effective practice for building discipline. Think of it this way. We live in a world filled with temptations, especially when it comes to food. So much of what we do revolves around food, and we often give in to our urges, despite not being hungry. Now, listen to me very carefully because there is a balance here. Food can, of course, be a very important part of gatherings and connecting with friends and family. But most of the time, we are eating mindlessly. Intermittent fasting counters this. It helps you to get in touch with when you are actually hungry, and it also helps you to be a little bit more mindful of your food consumption overall. And those are the top six benefits of intermittent fasting. Let me know in the comment section down below if there was another benefit that I might have missed. If you did enjoy this video, check out my video on the benefits of extended fasting as well. You can find it right here, or you can catch up on my most recent upload, which will be right here. And if you want to check out my keto and carnivore diet coaching programs, you can find them here. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.